y'all what's up welcome back to my channel and today i have another scripture for you guys but first y'all know i gotta pray so i'm gonna pray and i'm gonna just get right to it god i love you and I thank you so much for everything that you have done for us, God. I ask that you just come into our hearts and our minds and our spirit and open us up so we can receive your wisdom, Jesus. I pray that you let your will be done in this time that we share together, God. I pray that you reveal whatever it is that we need to know for the season and the moment and time that we are in, Jesus, so we can continue on in faith, Jesus. I pray that you just continue to hold our hand and lead us, God. I pray that you continue to keep us in your shadow, Jesus. I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and we believe that, God. I pray that we just continue to grow in courage, Jesus, and we continue to activate our faith in us, God, so that we can continue to walk in your footsteps, Jesus. Let us know that faith is your language, Jesus. It's not going to be proven in the society that we live in. It won't be proven in this world and what we can see, taste, touch, feel, and experience, God, but it's going to be proven through the works of our faith, God. We have to be faithful, meaning we have to believe it before we see it, Jesus. I pray just for a supernatural healing in our life to happen, God. I pray that we continue and you teach us how to love you more with all our heart and all our mind and all our spirit, God. Have your way with this message, Jesus, and I pray that this message is a, is a blessing to each and every one of us. And once we hear your words, God, that we are forever changed in the spirit spirit of our mind is renewed fresh, Jesus, so that we can continue on in purpose and in vision and just walking in the footsteps of you, Jesus. I love you so much. Amen. So y'all, today I am in Genesis and I'm in chapter one. We right here in the beginning because this is where it all started. And I want to start with chapter one, verse two, all of three and just uh, the first sentence and uh, four. So it says, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said, let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that it was good. And the reason why I want us to focus on this is because when God said, God first, and when that first, uh, and two, it says like the earth was void, dark, you know, it was without form. And, and right after that, God said, let there be light. And I want y'all to understand how important this is. It's, if you're, I'm going to say it like this, focus on what it is that you desire and not what you see. Because God did not one time in any one of these scriptures say, oh my God, it's dark. I can't see, you know, the earth is without um, form. It's void. He just said he realized that he acknowledged it was dark. He acknowledged it was void. And he said, let there be light. And there was light. So it was like he spoke the word of what it was that he desired. And how many times we walk around this world and we just speak about the stuff that we don't want, the stuff that's bothering us, the stuff that's hurting us, the stuff that we can't fix, we can't change. Instead of just using our word to speak life into our situations. Because the power of your word is so important. It's so important because let me tell you something. If you wake up every morning and you look yourself in the mirror and you say, I am ugly, and you continue to say that one day you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to see ugliness. So you have to begin to reshape your, you have to begin to reprogram your mind and reshape your mind to see it the way you want to see it. This is what we don't understand. Spirit, our spirit is always willing. Our flesh, which I believe cons 
consists of our mind and our heart is always late to the party. Your spirit know the truth of God. Your spirit is willing to walk it out in faith with, with God, but your mind is still comprehending. So you have to be able to speak whatever it is that you desire, not for your mind to comprehend it, not for you to feel it in your heart and have all the emotions to believe it, but to put it in your spirit. Because that's the part that's important. Your mind will never be able to comprehend the spirit of God. It will never, it will always be late. It's your spirit that proves itself. It's not your circumstances. It's not the things that you can see that proves, proves itself. It's God working in your life. God doing the inner working within your mind, within your heart, within your spirit that proves itself. And from that place, from you allowing God to love you and you loving him with all your mind and all your heart and all your spirit. And then in turn, you put, you put that, you giving that same love to yourself. Then you manifest it outwardly. But you don't see it until you speak it. That's why we walk by faith and not by sight. The power is in your word. And in this scripture, it speaks on the power of being in the word. God did not one time talk about the darkness. He just spoke what he wanted. Let there be light. And there was light. So if you want to see healing in your life, start speaking healing words. Stop speaking about your troubles and stop speaking about your problems. And yes, it will be tough in the beginning. But you have to train yourself to speak life. Let there be light and there was light and the light was good. So you have to speak it. Because the more you speak it, the more you can believe it, the more you will walk in it. But you have to speak it. If you want to see transformation in your life, you have to start, start speaking it in your life. Because the words are what kill us. Because... This is how important the word is. God left us this, this book with all of these words in it that means so much, that will transform your life, that will renew the spirit of your mind, that will clean and cleanse and create in you a new heart, that will blemish free, spot free, wash your spirit because of words. It's not a magic potion. This is no manipulation. This is just words. And if you get the word of God in your mind, in your heart, and let it grow in your spirit, you got everything that you need. But it starts within you. Just like so many people say it started as a thought first. You know, you think it, then you speak it. So if you're, if you're thinking negative, then you're going to speak negative and then your existence will prove it to be negative. But if you speak truth, not facts, you may have $700 in your bank account. That's facts. But if you speak truth, I am abundant. I am abundant in God. It's no lack in God. Then it will be. It has to be. It has to be. But you have to speak it. So speak life into your circumstances. I don't care how you feel. You don't need to feel good to say good words. You don't need to feel good. Who? Where is that in the rule book where when I feel bad, I must speak bad? No, when I feel bad, you either say nothing or you speak truth. And you can do all things through Christ which strengthen at you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. This is truth. This is not fact. This is truth. So you have to begin to use your words to build the life you desire. So change your language, y'all. Bring awareness to what you say. Bring awareness to what you say. Because what you're saying is in your heart. And if what you're saying is not of God and is not true, then the core of you needs healing. So you got to go within. So I pray to, I pray that this message really was a help. I pray that you begin to use your words 
wisely. Like they used to say in elementary school, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And, and that's truth. Because those those words have power. Like it used to, like this is a straight up like sticks and stones will um may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. What? A lie from the pit of hell, words hurt because words have power. Because to get things manifested in this world, you got to get your words right. Because if you speak in words, then your heart is in alignment with God. If you speak in words of power, if you speak in words of truth, if you speak in words of inspiration and encouragement and of, of li upliftment, then that's what's, well, that's what's in here. And you can't help but to see the abundance that's, that is exceedingly abundantly than anything that we could ask or think of. So get your words in alignment with God. Get your words before you try to move your body physically. Get your words in alignment. Start paying attention to what you're saying. Start paying attention to what you're creating with your words. Because when I look in the mirror every morning, I make sure I tell myself I'm beautiful. I'm great. I am enough. And I ride on that all day. So when somebody else give me compliments, it's in addition to what I already built up in myself. So you have to begin to speak over yourself. And I'm not talking about, girl, in the name of Jesus, I just speak it into existence. I'm talking about with the intention to move it, to shift it, to shake it, to cultivate it, to uproot it. Use your powers with the intention and let your actions follow it. Because God did not say, let, let that be light. And thou will let that, man, it's dog, but let there be light. No, God say, let there be light. Let there be light. That's what he said. And there was light because his word, the world had to respect his word that created the light. So I love y'all so much. And I want y'all to get this. I want y'all to get this because what you say has power. It has value. Your inner dialogue, that, that voice that goes on in your head, that thing has power. And if that, if that voice that's in your head is condemning you, is abusing you, then you will not be able to manifest what it is that God put on your heart until you get that under control through your words. Look yourself in the mirror every day and say, I am enough. And I have enough. I live in abundance. And ask God for help to guide you. Ask the Holy Spirit to come in and intercede on your behalf. Pray to Jesus because we don't know what to pray for. So I love y'all. I know I say that, but whew. get your words in order. Get your words in order. I know, I know it seemed like it's nothing, but get your words in order. Even if you got to make flashcards, if you got to get you some sticky notes, get your words in order. Mwah. Love you, love you, love you.